Welcome to Core Cutting Today for August 2nd, 2019. This is a show where I break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of Core Cutting right now and give you my opinions on them. If you want to learn more about these stories in the show notes down below, I'll put a link to each story. You can read them for yourself. Come up with your own opinions. I would love to hear from you. If you are new here, hey, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. It really helps us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we're doing. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost cable TV and still watch the shows you enjoy. Let's dive into it because there's a lot happening, including Prime Day sales are back. So Best Buy is matching Amazon's Prime Day pricing on the Fire TVs and the Fire TV Edition Smart TVs. This means you can get a Fire TV stick for $14.99, or honestly, I would spend the extra 10 bucks and get the Fire TV stick 4K for $24.99. But you can also get a 50 inch 4K HDR Fire TV Edition Smart TV from Insignia for $249.99. This is a really good deal. I'm not sure even Black Friday would match this pricing. So I would highly recommend check it out. Stocking stuffers, let's start thinking Christmas. It is August. Let's get that Christmas shopping out of the way for 14 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. But the deal gets even better because they're offering $30 in Sling TV credits, two months of stars, and free DVR for life for new Sling TV subscribers. So if you buy a Fire TV stick or out there, you will get a code to get free DVR for life, which I think is still $5 on Sling TV, two months of stars, and a $30 credit, which will help you get started for your first month of Sling TV, all for $14. That, $14.99, I should say. That's a pretty good deal right there. Highly recommend you check that out. I'll put a link in the show notes. Again, you can only get that Sling TV free DVR for life through Best Buy by buying a Fire TV stick and you have to be a new Sling TV customer. So keep that in mind, keep an eye on that. Link in the show notes down below. All right, let's get into the news. One of the things I wanted to post today was trying to address this mass confusion that AT&T has created. Because right now we have AT&T TV, AT&T TV Now, and AT&T Watch TV. They're all different services. Let's be very clear, these are different services. And I think a typo in the DirecTV Now um, email to their customers is confusing us even more. Um, but it gets more confusing than when you add in the fact that there's DirecTV and Uverse TV also. So AT&T for TV has AT&T TV, DirecTV, AT&T TV Now, still DirecTV Now, I guess you could say for a couple more weeks, Uverse TV, and AT&T Watch TV. So a quick breakdown, I really just wanted to go over these, try to explain this because I'm getting a lot of emails. I think some of this comes because AT&T sent out an email to DirecTV Now customers announcing the name change to AT&T TV Now, but at one point in the email they said it would be becoming AT&T TV. I think that's being misinterpreted as AT&T TV and AT&T TV now are the same. I'm not fully convinced that that wasn't a typo in the AT&T email, just to be honest with you. So from talking to people, my sources will call them, um, here's a full breakdown of each service. DirecTV, as you would expect, is DirecTV satellite service. You've known this for a long time, long before AT&T owned them. AT&T TV is, according to our sources, more of a cable-like streaming service. This is DirecTV or Uverse TV, however you want to look at it, streaming online. Much more of a, a familiar environment there will require a set-top box, according to the sources. At least one before you could use it on Roku, Fire TV, or Apple TV. Now, AT&T TV Now is DirecTV Now rebranded. This should be exactly the same, just the, the apps and everything rebranded with the DirecTV name to the AT&T TV Now name. So, DirecTV Now is AT&T TV Now, not AT&T TV. This is definitely confusing people. They're different. AT&T AT Watch TV, even I'm getting confused, is their $15 a month skinny, skinny bundle of TV services. I have a little question mark about the future of this service. We'll wait and see. It's included free with some AT&T cell phone plans, or it's $15 a month. Very similar to Philo in its lineup, and. Um, context, but we'll have to wait and see how it all breaks out in the future. And Uverse TV is the AT&T's legacy TV service. You probably remember this as the service that came through the Uverse Internet 
well, you could sign up for universe internet in some markets, it would also stream kind of like over, um, you know, like AT&T TV over the internet to your set top box. Again, required a box, all that kind of stuff. So it's cable from AT&T. Now, AT&T Uverse TV, according to um, internal documents that are posted in our sources, will be shutting down to new customers when AT&T TV comes out. AT&T TV will replace the Uverse TV. Um, and if you're a current Uverse customer, you will be able to continue to use Uverse without issue. New Uverse customers will be directed to AT&T TV. I hope that makes sense. So I think the important thing here, if I could get one message across to you, is AT&T TV and AT&T TV Now are two different services. They may both be running off the DirecTV Now user interface and architecture. Beyond that, no difference. So keep that in mind. These are different services. And it's going to be confusing. I get it. It's probably going to be more confusing because I don't think at and is done merging and changing names of services. But as of today, that's what's there. So when you see us talk about like at and TV requiring a set-top box, just remember, that's a different service from DirecTV's now's new at and TV now name. So I hope that explains it. Let's dive into the rest of the stories. All right, uh, HBO Max, another at and service that's coming out, has struck a deal with the BBC to get a ton of BBC content, including the new seasons of Doctor Who. So the current generation, I guess we'll call it, of Doctor Who shows, which started what? Was it 13 seasons ago? Um, 12 seasons, something like that, um, are coming to HBO Max. They're currently available on Amazon Prime. Um, that, that contract was coming up for renewal. HBO outbid Amazon for that content. Now, some people are worried that this means original run um, shows or the original run of them will happen there. Uh, I don't believe that. It will be the extreme exclusive streaming home, just like Amazon was the exclusive streaming home. So Doctor Who will probably still air on BBC America because the same language was used when it went to Amazon. And then when the streaming time happened, it will come to HBO Max. Now you will still be able to buy a season pass and more. And honestly, if all you want is Doctor Who, buying a season pass is probably the way you want to go. Some of those older seasons, you can get an entire season for 10 bucks of the current generation. Classic Doctor Who content, Pluto TV has a bunch of it. Uh, BritBox, I believe, has a bunch of it. So there's a bunch of classic Doctor Who content that's not included in this deal. So keep that in mind. Uh, any Doctor Who fans out there, let me know. And I forgot to ask, anybody else completely confused by at and TV's naming? HBO Max, HBO Now, HBO Go, at and TV, at and TV, TV Now, at and T Watch TV, etc. Am I the only one confused by this? I know I'm getting a lot of emails, but I'd love to know how confused you are about all this. All right, next story up in the list. YouTube TV is offering an extended two week free trial. If you've been thinking about testing out YouTube TV just in time for football season or um, hockey season or whatever you want, uh, YouTube TV is offering a two week free trial, typically one week, limited time offer, new customers again, no special um, instructions here, just go to tv.youtube.com. So just go to YouTube TV's website, sign up, get a two week free trial. Uh, I forget, this is a short term offer. It's only good for a limited time. Don't wait to test this out if you've been thinking about it. And um, up last today, Sling TV has been quietly adding a lot of content. Now they've added um, a select number of new channels, including the Magnolia Selects channels and they're adding more free content to their lineup. More importantly, uh, they are also improving the process for new subscriber onboarding, so keep that in mind. So Sling TV has been slowly improving their service out there. They've been slowly working on trying to offer um, more free content. Their hope is a lot here is, even if you're not a Sling TV subscriber, through the Sling TV app, like on Roku, you will be able to um, go and sign up for uh, sling or, or log into your Sling TV account there, even if you're not a payer, and start accessing free content. Their hope is you can also use it to manage things like Curiosity Stream and other subscription services. They seem to be hoping that this will bring you in to eventually become a subscriber because you're using the Sling TV app. This includes things like the um, 
uh, content from Film Rise and Guinness Brand Networks, which I'm not familiar with their content. If you're familiar with what kind of content Guinness Brands Networks offers, I forgot to look that up before I started the video. Help me out here. What kind of content do they have? But check that out in the link below. Um, also, the Sling TV onboarding process um, will now be a lot easier, a lot smoother. Sling TV says they're trying to improve the way that people can sign up for Sling TV and get the content they want without miss, you know, without being a pain. Trying to make core cutting easier than cable TV, basically. So I'd love to know what you think. What do you think of Sling TV's free content? I love it. I mean, free content all in one spot is great. If you're a Sling TV subscriber, you're going to see this in the Sling TV app already, which means you don't have to go install another app to access this content. A lot of people said, why? I already have an app. I think Sling TV is hoping this to be like, hey, you don't need multiple apps. You have the Sling TV app. All that content's there. No need to jump around between it. And it also means that during your discovery process, uh, as you're uh, looking for movies or TV shows to watch, this will be populated alongside content from your cable networks on Sling TV. So that's it for today. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. It's August. I know everybody's rushing to get those last second vacations in. I hope if you are, that you're being safe and enjoying this beautiful weather, hopefully getting a little rain wherever you are. Not during the time where you're going golfing or picnicking or wherever, hopefully. But I hope everybody has a fantastic week. I do want to take a quick minute and say thank you to everybody. August is starting off really strong as July set records for traffic. Most subscribers ever in the month, most views ever in the month. I could go on. It's best month ever on our YouTube channel. With hundreds of new subscribers every day, I really just want to say thank you. Uh, never imagined this would be uh, what it is today. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying the new content we're producing, the more how-to guides, educational content, and more on top of these daily and weekly recap shows. Keep an eye on it. I would love your feedback. We'd love to hear from you. But more importantly, I just want to say a special thank you. I never imagined Core Carter's news would get to the point where it is today. I hope we're helping you save money. And I also love the fact that, you know, I've been able to offer people jobs, help people have make a living. So people like you hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, ringing that notification bell, are what make it possible for us to run this site, have employees, make payroll, and do other stuff. So a special thank you. We really do appreciate it. We'll be back tomorrow with, a, with our weekly recap, and we'll be back on Monday with another core cutting today. So thank you. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care, everybody.